Many thanks for your kind introduction. And can I welcome everyone to the launch of the Wales Innovation Network at this event, sponsored by the Learner Society of Wales and the University of Wales. The initiative behind the Wales Innovation Network is a direct result of recommendations made by Graham Reeves' Strength in Diversity report. And I know you're going to hear more from Pe Professor Reeves later on. First of all, let me put on record the fact that the Welsh Government recognises the critical importance that research and innovation has to play in delivering our new programme for government. Our aspirations for a healthier, greener, fairer, more prosperous and more equal Wales can only be achieved within an environment that is in innovating and transforming. Of equal importance is collaboration. The collaboration that this network will enable, collaboration between the governments of the United Kingdom at cabinet level, across departments and sectors. Unless we work together, we cannot unlock the true potential of our investment in innovation, from groundbreaking research through to commercialisation. Traditionally, Wales has invested ERDF money into innovation. And this has generated great impact within our economy and for our citizens. A recent independent appraisal of our Smart Cymru programme shows that we assisted a total of 420 individual businesses during the period from 2014 to 2020. These firms were offered a combined total of 24.2 million from 576 separate grants, which leveraged in 33 million pounds in private sector investment. This report went on to find that almost half the grants were invested in sectors of the economy, which generate an average gross value added of £80,000 per employee, which is more than twice the Welsh average. I recognise that the loss of these funds will be of great concern, and I am committed to seeking opportunities with the UK Government on how replacement funds can be directed towards Welsh innovation priorities in the context of both place-based, but also levelling up. We recognise that in order to encourage collaboration and maximise innovation, uh, the impact of innovation, strategic direction is needed. Our current business innovation strategy, whilst a great example of policy of its time, predates Brexit and the COVID-19 pandemic. Work to move forward with a new strategy is underway, and I know that many of you have already been involved in this. Initial research and engagement events have resulted in the development of a vision for a representative new strategy, which was shortly considered by relevant ministries, but I and my officials are committed to an ongoing conversation with all stakeholders as this work develops. I want a key plank of the new strategy to be a philosophy of research with a purpose, which will be able to unlock access to UK research and innovation funding something which is at the heart of Professor Reeves' work. I'm keen for us to use the strategy as a framework for local, regional and national delivery. We're being urged to simplify the Welsh innovation ecosystem, to make it more streamlined, dynamic and effective, both within government and with the government's interaction with stakeholders like yourselves, making collaboration across sectors easier and more fruitful. We need to explore further how we do just that. We do know that innovation is happening across departments in the Welsh Government and the services that we work with. My previous portfolio led me to see some fantastic examples where innovation can improve the delivery of healthcare services and crucially the lives of the public. What struck me on many of these visits was the small scale nature of a number of these projects and how difficult it has always seemed to scale these across Wales. We need to do even better at removing the barriers to this happening. A strong emerging theme is the need for the purpose-focused research I referred to earlier, or mission-based innovation. We need to invest in innovation that seeks to solve some of our trickiest societal challenges. Our successful Small Business Research Initiative programme has sought to do this. Just recently, we launched challenges to seek solutions to reducing the long outpatient waiting list, and we've tested devices that could be more efficient in sanitising settings such as schools during the pandemic. 
pattern of their procurement is something we can mobilize quickly at a time of crisis, but also a mechanism we can use to develop and test new technologies in order to build public sector confidence and to solve our greatest unmet needs. I'm confident that this network will be an important contributor, not only to our strategy, but also in how we innovate into the future and deliver impact with and for the people of Wales. I urge you all to engage with the new strategy developments over the summer, and I look forward to seeing the outcome of those during the autumn term. Many thanks for inviting me again, Jochen Aurian, and I really do hope you enjoy the rest of the event and working together for the rest of this term.